In my last Free Thought Frontier video, I talked about how British pianist Brendan Kavanaugh had been accosted by some Chinese nationals. It turns out that the reason for this goes far beyond the realm of free speech and gets into the dark world of Chinese espionage. Welcome to the Free Thought Frontier, and I'm your host, Bill Stone. As I mentioned in my last Free Thought Frontier video, Chinese weaponized British police, link to that in my description box below. On January 29th, 2024, British pianist Brendan Kavanaugh was live streaming himself performing a public performance of his piano riffs. And that video is now in the Tales from SYL Ranch Dark Room. Link to that in my description box below. And as with all videos in the Dark Room, the video has been remastered to beautiful 4K and 60 frames per second from its original 720p and 24 frames per second. Now, at the time that I made the Free Thought Frontier video, I thought it was a free speech issue with the Chinese objecting to being shown in the background behind Kavanaugh's stream. But since the video was posted, Kavanaugh has been the victim of targeted cyberbullying on social media. And that is, as anyone who watches me knows, one of the many reasons that I don't use social media. Targeted cyberbullying is rampant and can only be extremely de detrimental to one's mental health, especially if you're a young person. However, Kavanaugh appears to be Gen X, and I assume that like all Gen Xers, he understands that there's really only three reasons that someone might disagree with you. Who gives a frack? Who gives a frack? And who gives a frack? Kavanaugh has been able to turn this to some advantage with amusing videos about the situation and other YouTubers have made their own amusing videos about the situation and there have been a number of memes that popped up. However, the reason that the Chinese objected to being seen in the stream wasn't about free speech. It was because one of the people visible in the stream was Christine Lee, a Chinese spy outed last summer. Now, the British MI5 alleges that Ms. Lee was working for the United Front Work Department, a long-established organ of the Communist Chinese Party. MI5 now, for my American viewers, is roughly the equivalent of the USA's National Security Agency. According to the U.S. government, the United Front Work Department, quote, uses a range of methods to influence overseas Chinese communities, foreign governments, and other actors to adopt actions or positions supportive of Beijing's preferred policies, end quote. The United Front Work Department appears to do this largely in the open. It has a website that has photos of lots of events. And Ms. Lee apparently operated in the open with publicly registered donations to politicians, high-profile trips to Downing Street, and an award, now rescinded, from former British Prime Minister Theresa May. MI5 warned the British Parliament that it now has substantial evidence linking Ms. Lee to the Chinese Communist Party state. Now, concerns about her links to the Communist Party elite date back to at least 2017, but she was allowed to continue her activities anyway. Lee's activities in the UK include setting up the British Chinese Project to engage the British Chinese community in the UK in politics. Now, this according to Martin Thorley, a research fellow at the University of Exeter. Now, this thing was presented as a grassroots initiative. But if Ms. Lee is indeed an agent of the Chinese state, as certainly seems to be, then this thing could not have been a grassroots initiative. It must have been something coming straight from China. Now, the Chinese embassy in London has dismissed the allegations against Ms. Lee as a smearing and intimidation against the Chinese community in the UK. Now, knowing now that, Ch that Christine Lee was um, in, seen in that video and can be seen in even greater detail in the uh, darkroom version of the video, the big fuss from the Chinese starts to make a lot more sense. They didn't want their spies' presence noted. And by extension, there may have been other spies in that crowd. So this has now taken an ugly turn for Kavanaugh. When Ming Ying, Meng Ying Liu, 
I completely ruin Chinese names, has stated on X that there's now an ongoing lawsuit against Kavanaugh for defamation and privacy violations. I would note, as of this moment, that Ms. Liu's X account has been suspended, hence the very poor quality capture of this from another video. Um, unless she's done, thing, done something just particularly egregious, I would request that Elon Musk reinstate her account because it is always so much fun to watch people being strangled and hung by their own rope. In Kavanaugh's most recent video, Urgent Help, Urgent Request for Help, rather, and there's a link to that in my description box as well. Kavanaugh mentions that not only is he being sued, apparently MI5 is also being sued. Kavanaugh has made an urgent request for legal assistance in that video, and I would like to echo that here. Now, I assume that he would need a British solicitor. I don't know if it rises to the level of a barrister. It depends how British law works. I don't know. But in support of him, Tales from SYL Ranch would like to echo him, and I'd ask my viewers to contact him if you know anyone who can help. Kavanaugh's email address is brencav at hotmail.com. That's B-R-E-N-K-A-V at hotmail.com. He has publicized this in his videos and also in his various descriptions, so that's why I'm comfortable doing it. And I have a link it's in the video in the description box below. So, All of this is extremely nefarious, and Kavanaugh really needs all the help that he can get. So please give him a hand if you can. And that's all I have to say about that. I would love to keep the conversation going, so please like the video, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and leave plenty of comments. I don't engage on social media for reasons that I've explained in other videos and one that I touched on in this one, but I do monitor my YouTube video comments very closely, and I will engage you here. Share me on, show some, share me on social media if you must, if you use social media, though you really shouldn't use social media for reasons that I've explained in other videos. So thanks for watching The Free Thought Frontier, and I'm your host, Bill Stone. Ultimate power in this world has always been one simple thing, the control and manipulation of minds.